By definition, ang limit, if f of x becomes arbitrarily close to a unique number l as x approaches c from either side, then the limit of f of x as x approaches c is l. Now, ito yung basic notation ng isang limit. So, ang pagbasa ng limit notation natin is limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. Now, ito yung mga sample ng mga limit or limit functions na gagamitin natin or makikita natin dito sa ating lesson. So, we have limit of 3x squared as x approaches 4, limit of 2x all over x squared plus 1 as x approaches 0 from the right, at limit of 3 over x as x approaches positive infinity. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, medyo... Uh, complicated at saka intimidating yung limit notation. Pero, mas mauunawaan nyo at mas madadalian kayo sa pag-solve uh, ng limit kapag ma naiintindihan nyo kung ba't natin sinusulat yung ating limit notation sa ganitong pamamaraan. So, for today, we'll have our introduction to limits so we will learn how to evaluate basic limit notation or limit function at kung paano ba natin malalaman kung ang limit ay nag exist or hindi nag exist Now, let's have some examples. Ito sa ating unang example, we are going to evaluate limit of 3x minus 2 as x approaches 2. Now, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa ating uh, graph ng ating function na 3x minus 2. At alam natin na ang 3x minus 2 ay isang linear equation. Kaya meron tayong isang linear or graphical display na um, linear function dito sa ating graph. Now, kung hahanapin natin yung limit according to the definition, mahanap daw natin yung limit kapag ka nakita natin yung value ng f of x as yung x ay nag approach dito sa constant na ito, which is in this particular problem is 2. So, kung titingnan natin dito sa ating graph, pag in-inspect natin yung graph going or coming from the right, hahanapin daw natin kung saan value ng f of x mapupunta yung ating function as x approaches from the right at from the left. At mapapansin nyo, kapag ka yung ating function eh, palapit ng palapit sa x equal to 2 at yung Pangalawa naman natin is naglumalapit ng lumalapit sa x equal to 2 from the left. nag approach sa, siya sa isang value ng y o yung ating f of x. At dito nga mapapansin natin by using our graph na nag approach sa sa certain number, let's say 4. Now, by graphical display, nakikita natin o mapapansin natin na yung limit is mag approach sa isang number using this particular graph. Now, numerically, Ang basic concept nito is kapag ka nag-plug in tayo ng mga values dito sa function natin as x approaches on both sides, dapat mag approach sa sa isang certain number. At ito yung ipapakita ko dito sa ating table dito ngayon. So mapapansin nyo, mas makikita nyo yung mga numbers or numerical value na lumalapit na lumalapit sa x equal to 2 base dun sa ating function na 3x minus 2. So kung ito yung ating x equal to 2, pag nag-plug in tayo ng 1.9 dito sa 3x minus 2, yung f of x is equal to 3.7. At kapag pinlug in natin yung 1.99, which is a number slightly closer to 2, we'll have 3.970. And if we use a number that is much closer to 2, which is 1.999, which is not exactly 2, we'll have 3.997. So mapapansin nyo na Habang papalapit ng papalapit yung ating x value sa 2 mula sa left-hand side, nag approach sa sa number. At ang number na yun, kung makikita natin, is 3.997 or equal to 4. Now, we need to verify na yung number na yan is parehas kapag nag approach naman siya doon sa, doon sa kabilang side. So, ang pinili nating number ngayon is 2.01. Ang 2.01 is malapit sa 2 pero hindi siya 2. At ang value niya, kapag pinlagin natin dito sa ating f of x, is equal to 0. 30. Now, kapag nagpili ka pa ng isa pang number na mas malapit sa 2 pero not 
actually 2, we have 2.001. At mapapansin nyo na yung ating value ay lumalapit na lumalapit sa 4. So, we have 4.003. So, using this particular approximation, mas na-visualize natin na yung limit ng ating function ay nag approach sa certain number. At yung number na yun ay... So, as x is approaching from the left and from the right, f of x is getting closer and closer to a value or a certain value which is 4. So, ngayon, ang limit ay nag exist at x is equal to 2. Now, yung ating second example naman, i-evaluate daw natin yung limit of 2 all over 3 minus x as x approaches 3. Now, by substitution method, wherein i-substitute lang natin yung value ng 3 dun sa x, mapapansin natin na at x equal to 3, we'll have 2 all over 3 minus 3, which gives us 2 all over 0. Now, yung 2 all over 0 na to, alam natin na undefined yung ating function kapag ka meron tayong denominator na equal to 0. So therefore, yung ating limit na yung limit natin na to na 2 all over 3 minus x as x approaches 3 does not exist. Now, just to make sure na hindi nga siya nag-exist, ito yung graph ng ating function na 2 minus 3 or 2 all over 3 minus x. At yung ating function na ito ay merong vertical asymptote at x is equal to 3. At alam natin ng vertical asymptote, ito yung ating imaginary line na kung saan hindi pwedeng lumapit or mag-touch yung ating function dito sa line na ito. So alam natin by our graph na coming from the um the right yung ating value ng x ng papalapit na pa, or yung value ng ating f of x na papalapit ng papalapit sa 3 eh bumababa ng bumababa sa ating negative infinity at mula naman dito sa kabila mapapansin natin na pataas naman siya ng pataas papuntang positive infinity so since ang value from the right at ang value from the left ay eh magkaiba kasi yung isa negative infinity, yung isa naman going positive infinity, hindi talaga natin, or hindi talaga mag exist yung ating limit given a function 2 all over 3 minus x. So, ito yung isa pang pamamaraan ng kung saan, paano natin i-evaluate yung ating limit by substitution method. So, kapag nag-substitute kayo at yung denominator nyo is 0, yung inyong limit will not exist. At pinapatunayan yan ng ating graph na nandito sa kabilang side ng ating board. Now, Paano naman kung ang ating function eh, mukhang hindi nag exist pero nag exist pala? So, may mga cases din na ganyan, tulad ng ating susunod na example. So, let's say yung ating function is limit of x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. By substitution method, makikita natin na magiging undefined siya kasi if we substitute 3 sa x, we'll have 3 squared minus 9 all over 3 minus 3, which gives us 9 minus 9 all over 3 minus 3, which is 0 over 0. So, using 0 over 0, ang common error ng mga... Um, nag evaluate nitong function na ito, they would think na zero yung sagot. So, tandaan nyo na kapag meron kayong zero in your denominator, kahit ano pang number yan dun sa numerator nyo, lagi siya magiging undefined. So, yung ating limit by substitution method so far is undefined or does not exist. Pero, kung igagraph natin yung ating rational function na x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3, mapapansin nyo na parang wala namang asymptote at wala namang kayong nakikitang break doon sa value nung 3. Kaya, ang gagawin natin to further inspect kung meron talagang value na exist na kung saan palapit ng palapit tayo dun sa 3 from the left and from the right, gagamitin natin yung ating approximation method. So, sa approximation method, magpa-plug in ka lang ng mga values na palapit ng palapit sa 3 from the left at papalapit ng papalapit sa 3 from the right. At yun yung ginawa ko dito sa aking table. So, using, let's say, I started with 2.7, which is close to 3 but not exactly 3, yung aking f of x is equal to 5.7. At at 2.8, which is closer to 3, yung aking f of x is 5.8. And at 2.9, I have 5.9. At yung mas malapit pa sa 2.9, which is, but not exactly 2, 
or not exactly 3, is 2.99, which gives me 5.999. So, mapapansin nyo yung mga numbers nyo yan, nag approach sa certain number na let's say it's equal to 6. Now, kailangan yung susunod na approximation value natin mula naman sa right should also be approaching the same number. So, kung magsa-start ako sa 3.2, which is a number closer to 3 but not equal to 3, from the right, yung aking value ng f of x is 6.2. At kapag ginamit ko yung 3.1, sinubstitute ko dito sa aking function, 3.2 squared minus 9 all over 3.2 minus 3, I'll get 6.1. And at 3.01, yung aking f of x is 6.01. So mapapansin nyo na lumalapit na ako na lumalapit sa value ng 6. And at 3.001, which is Closer to 3 but not exactly 3, yung aking value is 6.001. So, by approximation, alam ko ngayon na yung limit ko ay nag -e exist talaga. Kaso nga lang, kapag ka ginamita ko siya ng substitution method, nagiging undefined yung aking function. However, by the second method that I'm using or second inspection, Alam ko ngayon na yung limit ng x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 is equal to 6. Dahil sa graph, wala siyang break, wala siyang asymptote, at wala rin siyang hole. So alam natin na this function is discontinuous lang kapag ka x is equal to 3. Now, mapapansin nyo na medyo matrabaho itong method na, na ito. Kasi kung Magsa-substitute tayo ng number, approximately, dun, or mag-approximate ng number dito sa function na ito, it would take us about 3 to 5 minutes para lang matapos yung ating um, solution dito sa limit. Now, meron pang isang pamamaraan na kung saan pwede nating makita kung nag -e exist or hindi nag -e exist yung limit without using our approximation method. Ito yung tinatawag natin factoring technique. So, sa calculus, mahalaga na mahalaga na alam nyo or na master nyo yung algebra kasi yung mga factoring techniques na ginamit natin sa algebra ay kakailanganin natin para sa pag-aaral ng calculus. Tulad nga nitong ating um, function na ito. So, imagine if you don't know how to factor, kailangan nyo mag-approximate all the time para lang makita nyo yung value ng isang limit. So, Yung ating function na limit of x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 is the same function as we did on the previous example. However, by factoring technique, alam natin yung x squared minus 9 can be factored out because ito yung ating tinatawag na special case ng binomial. So we can factor it out as x minus 3 times x plus 3. And by simplifying our rational expression, we can cancel x minus 3 and x minus 3, which leaves us with x plus 3. Now, by substitution, since we can no longer simplify x plus 3, mapapansin nyo na kapag sinubstitute natin yung 3 sa x, we'll have a value of 6. So, ito yung pamamaraan na kung saan hindi na natin kinakailangan mag-approximate ng value para makita kung nag -e exist yung limit. So, alam natin na yung limit ay nag -e exist kasi meron tayong value or numerical value na nakuha after nung ating factoring method at yun nga i x is equal to or yung f of x natin is equal to 6 at yan yung iba't ibang pamamaraan ng pag-evaluate ng limits using our graph um, substitution method approximation method at yung factoring technique